What's up guys? Just got done with a walk around video on this 1966 Impala convertible. Uh, definitely want you to check that out if you're interested in this car. We put the top down. You can see all that information in that video. So definitely watch it. It goes around pointing out all the flaws on the car. This car has a original 396. And we're going to go down the road and point out any kind of flaws running and driving with it. Definitely check out maplemotors.com. Close to 100 detailed pictures, financing information, and I can ship it all over the country. Reason we do these videos, that way you're not mad when you get here. We want you to know everything about these cars. I have a whole classic car lot full of them. It's about that time. Hit that subscribe button. Click the little bell so you get notified when I post. It's that time. Let's go full ride. kind of peek around the interior before we take off here go ahead hit the pole up here in the top right corner do you think the horn works you can take the pole and uh here just shortly you'll find out this car is beautiful on the inside it's got a new top on it uh, it looks like they've rebuilt their motor not that long ago there's some pictures and all kinds of information in the trunk you can actually see all that on my walk around video car starts up easy did a cold start in the walk around too uh, my gauges are all coming up oil pressure the only gauge is broke is the temperature it looks like it just fell down ac is working compressor's on right now blower motor is not so good it needs to be tuned up needs a new blower motor it's just barely trickling out and probably a little free on radio's working it's the old style uh windshield wipers work all right did y'all vote horn time i like that horn it sounds like a train <laughs> you can see the miles on the dash but if you looked in the trunk in the walk around video you can see the motor was out i can't stand behind the mileage of course everything could be original otherwise but uh yeah motors would change and this is a 66 model guys so anything could have happened through the years it's that time. I want to see what this thing does. It's going to be a good cruiser. All right. Get my seatbelt on. I'm going to take off down the road. These seatbelts look nice. I think they've replaced these as well. Perfect fit. Uh, I know the AC's on, so I'm going to cut it off. That way it's not putting a load down on the motor. I want to feel what the motor's going to do. Plus, me, the original 396, been rebuilt. It shows pictures in the trunk, the motor all apart, the whole front end, the car getting buffed and painted. As we're riding down the road, I'm going to look for any kind of flaws, try to point them all out to you so you know exactly what you're getting into. Um, gas gauge looks like it's up, so I believe it's working. It was floating around a little bit in the parking lot as I was moving. It's a good indication that it does work. There's a lot of traffic right now, so I'm gonna hit a back road. May not be the best time to do these videos, but I've got so many cars to do, I need to get out of here and do them anyway. Oh yeah, the motor's pulling strong. I felt it shift already, the speedo's coming up. And it seems to be correct. I think we're going about 50 right now. So. Hopefully you're not getting a lot of wind noise. I tried to roll the wind up. Keep y'all in here. The clock works. They just didn't have the button pushed in. Wow. That's cool. Uh, turn signals are popping up on the dash there, both sides. The steering's super tight on this car. I believe when they did the, the front, it looked like they had the whole front end apart, so I bet you they replaced everything. Because that's touchy. That's That feels nice. The top come down fast, too. You can actually see the top coming down in the walk-around video uh, where I went over everything else. I try to do these videos earlier in the day, but there's so many to do. Car 
are super quiet. I like that sometimes, just to be able to cruise around. Kick down's hooked up. Man, I'm floating on a boat right now. We're just gliding along. Suspension's nice and smooth. I mean, I could turn the steering wheel with one finger. normal park a lot and a cop in the neck so I'm gonna go with the cop so that student don't hit me we'll get up here and get some outside shots of this car here this parking lot's always empty too there's usually nobody here to interrupt the videos all the information the what I use uh, in to make these videos if y'all want to make them it's fine look tell us and I use this metal and it's been the longest lasting selfie stick or whatever you want to call it that I've ever had. I've went through so many of them. That one's just been around a while. Let's get these outside shots. We'll hop off in here and give y'all a virtual drive now. Trying to get this camera set up right. Always got to play with it a little bit. Get y'all's minds out of the gutter. All right. We'll take off here. So far, so good. This car's got some pep. I accidentally kicked the tires over trying to pass the camera. Um, old El Cop seen, us, seen what I was doing. It was all cool with it he's seemed to like old classics just like everybody else so keep on rolling here let's see let's get down on it for a second feels pretty good i didn't mat it all the way till that last second you felt it shift down or you you seen it shift down i'm sure you heard it nice and smooth going straight down the road this isn't a perfectly straight road this old country road here it's kind of a back back road to maple motors there's a big old bump up here in this car i don't even think it'll affect it i don't think we'll even feel it we'll hit it and try it out It's halfway up this road. About right here. <laughs> yeah, hardly felt that at all. Come on, traffic. I'm turning my head too much trying to watch what I'm doing still getting used to this head cam thing but once I do it's on 
It's gonna be in all the videos. We'll pass through Brian's one more time. Every time I come through here, this is the third time I've been through here today, he's had something going on. So let's ride, let's ride up through here, see what's up. See down here at Brian's, he has all custom stuff. So if you need to get wheels for your car after you buy them, you could get some off-road wheels for your trucks after you buy them. Hey, if you got a new model, he does his own BMS package. Check him out, brianssmotorsports.com. That's his brother there working on the front of the building. Third time we've been through today. You can see all this custom stuff running through here. He does all the Siemens shows in Vegas. We bring stuff like that out. Custom wheel shop. He's like family to us, so right down from the lot too. Years and years of work and it shows. We're gonna cruise on up. You can see how close we are. I mean, we're, our lot is right there. A lot of good local businesses. When you come through, you gotta try the Red Rooster too. They're awesome. If you come through late, there's a little pub down here with all local beers. I don't know, all the beer drinkers out there. I go down there about once every couple weeks or so, hang out with a few people. We're gonna pull up in the lot here, get everything done. Look, they're still moving the cars around. They're ready to go home. Nice little Mustang I just got done doing a test drive on. The 55 just got done doing a test drive on it too. I'm not gonna cut Pops off and let him finish. He's gonna want me to back in too. So I'm gonna jump out, finish this video up and get these online for you. All right, guys, I appreciate you riding along with me. If you like my videos, hit the subscribe button. Post stuff like this every single day, and I'll continue to do so. As long as we continue to buy cars, and I don't see that stopping either. We've been doing it for 40 years. Check our website out, maplemotors.com. Close to 100 detailed pictures of every car on the lot. A brief description. You want to see these cars before everybody else? Your best bet. Every Monday, check maplemotors.com. YouTube's a source of entertainment and information. So those cars will pop up on Maple Motors on a Monday. What's, what's the day? Tuesday? Wednesday? Now I'm just now doing the video. This has been online for two days now. I mean, a bunch of people calling, oh, where's the video? Well, it's not up yet because I still have to make them. I have 18 to do. I can only do about four to five cars a day. So maplemotors.com, shipping information, financing, and all the new inventory. I appreciate you watching. Thanks again, guys.